I am habitually trying to get you to eat eggs for dinner, am I not? How often do I say, I love an egg on this, put an egg on that? Today I encourage you to make a frittata for dinner. You can throw it together in no time at all. Oh, I have my nonstick pan preheating. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of oil and just let that sit for a sec while I cut up my scallions. One bunch of scallions, the white and the green part. Any kind of nice aromatic is good. I love this green onion because it adds a really nice color. They don't make you cry when you cut them up like regular onions do. No need for glasses today. So just start those sauteing. And then the other filling ingredient is uh, two cups of tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes. You could use cherry. If they were big, I would suggest maybe you might want to cut them in half, though these stay nice and whole in there and they're really, really pretty. A Little bit of salt. I encourage you to season as you go. Season your aromatics, season your egg mixture. I'm gonna sprinkle some cheese over the top of this in a few minutes, well, after I add my eggs. About a half a cup of grated cheese. I often prefer a stronger cheese, like a really, really sharp cheddar in something like this because you can add less cheese and still get the same amount of flavor. Just occasionally stir this around. You're just trying to wilt down your onions and start heating up your tomatoes a little bit. At first I thought that they might break down a little bit, but they actually don't, they hold their shape. Eight large eggs. I would say that you could use four whole eggs and eight egg whites, but I'm just gonna go for the whole egg. Also, you may note that I am cracking my egg on the counter and then letting the egg into my bowl. That way, I don't get any pieces of shell into my bowl. Ha 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 ha, that was a total lie. Look, a piece of shell was in the bowl. What does she know? Salt and pepper in your eggs and then just whisk them up really nice using a big whisk. The great thing about frittatas, beside the fact that eggs are delicious and an inexpensive way to feed your family is that they're infinitely variable, right? You can put kind of any filling that you would put in an omelet, you can put in a frittata. Once your eggs are whisked and your aromatics and tomatoes have cooked for about five minutes, that's when you add your eggs to the pan on sort of a medium heat. I have my oven preheated to 425 because I'm gonna put the frittata into the oven after I cook it on top of the stove for a couple minutes. Don't forget your cheese. That's the best part. What's an omelet without cheese? Half a cup or so. Don't tell, I think I added a little bit more. I like to just go around the edges with a spatula and pull the cooked edges in and let the uncooked stuff flow around and underneath just to start the cooking off nicely. And then you just throw it in the oven. So after you let it cook for about two minutes, that's when you put it into your 425 degree oven and it'll cook in there, it'll set, and it's gonna puff up a little bit. We call that souffleing because it looks like a souffle. 10 minutes, approximately. A plate to serve it on. I think it's ready. Let me see. Oh yes, look at that. Look how puffed that is. Remember I said I was gonna souffle? That's what I was talking about. Like, it's like a volcano. You can serve it right out of here if you want to, but I don't like to cut in my non-stick skillet, so I'm just gonna slide it onto a cutting board. All that's left is to cut it up and eat it. For a full meal, serve this with a salad or nice green. Put whatever fillings in it you want. It's so delicious, it's so satisfying. Frittatas for dinner, I dare ya.